Today on Film Learning, we're doing this. Welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learn you good. And yes, I know I said last episode that the Marvel template would be this episode, but unfortunately, I'm still working on it. I hate to tell you guys, but it is a real bugger to work on. So instead, I thought we'd do a quickie episode and answer this request. So a couple of you asked how to do the vibranium lip tattoo from Black Panther. And I know it sounds a little bit redundant, but that's what we're doing today. Oh, you'd like my lip, wouldn't you? Right round your bell end. Yes, thank you for that. So in order to complete this effect, you just have to shoot yourself pulling down your top lip. Does this look weird? I think it looks weird. And I'm pretty sure it's making me talk funny. Now you also need to download the font in the description. And that's it. Now let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and I've got my shot set up in a comp and all ready to go. And if we check out a preview, you can see I grab my bottom lip with two hands and slowly expose it holding it in place at the bottom. Now I'm gonna to totally recommend you shooting this in a very similar action because this way you get a nice even exposure of that bottom lip, which also helps to curve any distortion you might get otherwise. I mean, we are trying to make this an easy effect, all right? So our first step is to track our lip. And today we'll be doing that in Mocha. Now, if you don't have Mocha, you can still track this with the normal tracker in After Effects, but you might have to be a little bit closer to camera. To track this in Mocha, let's select the clip right here, head to Animation and click Track in Mocha AE. This will of course open up Mocha. I'll do it. Yeah, exactly. Once it's all loaded, check over the parameters and make sure everything is correct here and then click OK. Now I'm gonna head to the end of our track shot right here, and actually track backwards, since our final resting place is where our tattoo will be its most clear. Next, let's head up and grab the X Spline tool and draw a mask around the area we want our tattoo to sit. Nice. Now all we have to do is track backwards by clicking this button right here. Now we're gonna to get to a point, say right here, where the track fails, but that's okay. We have enough track data to make this work. Now that we have our track, let's export it. To do that, let's head down and hit export track data. And from the drop down menu, we're going to select corner pin data. Hit copy to clipboard and let's jump back to After Effects. Back in After Effects, our first step here is to add a new null object, bam, and then making sure we're on the first frame of our comp, let's paste in our tracking data. From there, it's time to add our text. Let's grab the text tool and type out whatever you like in Wakandan. Done. We'll then skip to the end of the comp and move it into place. Feel free to scale, rotate, do whatever you like. How you can even make it a whatever color you like. I mean, for me, I'm gonna stick with the movie and make it a deep blue and parent the text layer to our null. Done. But we have a problem. Sure, the text is tracked to the lip, but it doesn't rotate down properly when we pull down our lip. It kind of just sits there and looks like poo. So let's fix that, shall we? Let's scrub along the timeline to the point where our track starts to work right here and then we're going to trim our text layer to start here next let's make the layer 3d by clicking this box and then we're going to scrub forward to the point where our lip is fully exposed and hit the stopwatch we'll then scrub backwards until our bottom lip is barely visible and adjust the orientation like so Sorry guys, I'm farting around with this a lot. Like, a lot. If we turn on motion blur for the comp and the layer and check out a preview, it's already looking much better. Now, let's blend it in a little better. First off, let's change the transfer mode on this one to screen. Done. Next, I'm going to bust the opacity down by hitting T and then setting it to say 79%, just to make sure it stands out a little less from our lip, just to blend it in a bit better. It is a tattoo after all. From there, I want to distort this a little since it's a tattoo on my lip. 
So I'm gonna head to effect, distort and add a bulge. Firstly, I'll increase the horizontal radius to say 98, and then I'll set the vertical radius to 49. I'll then set the center point here to below the tattoo itself, and finally, just so it's a hell of a lot more subtle, I'm gonna set the bulge height to around 0.4. By all means guys, have a play with these settings and find your sweet spot, or use another effect to warp the shape if you like. Next, we wanna soften the image overall, as it's a tattoo, and no old tattoos ever look this sharp. So let's head to Effect, Transition, and grab Gradient Wipe. And I'm gonna set the softness to 71%, and then the Transition Completion to 35%. All this does is remove part of the coloring away, and it makes it look like the ink has bled out a little. Now, to add some glow. Let's head to Effect, Stylize, and add a glow. Let's set the Threshold to 40%, and the Radius to 13. And from there, we're gonna add another glow, cause why not, I like glow. On this layer, we're gonna set the threshold to 30% and the radius to four. As you can see now, this gives us a few hot spots in the tattoo and it gives off more of a vibrainy feel. But once again, have a play with these settings guys and find your own sweet spot. And if we check out a preview, I'll pull my lip down and that is how you get into Wakanda. And also, that is another effect mm, done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Today on Film Learning, we're doing this. So guys, that's my take on the Vibranium Lip Tattoo from Black Panther. As you can see, it's a pretty versatile effect. You could put it on your arm, you could put it on your head, you could put it... Let's just stick with the arm and the head. Otherwise, this is going to get really weird really fast. But unfortunately guys, that is my time. I am still working on the Marvel template, but I will jump back onto that as soon as I'm back from holidays. I'll be on holidays for a week and relaxing and not thinking about any tutorials. You know that's not possible, but I'm gonna try to enjoy myself. So guys, if you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button, I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, why not hit subscribe and join the 87,000 people that have also done that. And don't forget to turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. We've got a couple other episodes right here and a playlist right up here, as well as my social media crap above my head with the Facebook and the Twitter. And until I see you again, keep learning!